Good morning my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. It's a gorgeous day today, my favourite kind of morning, blue skies but crisp cool temperature, not that you'd know it from my outfit because it's actually pretty toasty in the house. You might be able to hear I'm a tiny bit bunged up, <laughs> I hate that expression, a bit sniffly let's say. I was, this is karma because last week I was literally showing off that I never get ill, I never pick up any bugs and now I've had a two day sniffle <laughs> which is very annoying. I've got a really nice day ahead today though, it's the perfect, I, I think this is the best time of year in the Cotswolds when the leaves are starting to turn and yet you still get gorgeous blue sky days. I'm heading to Soho Farmhouse a little bit later. I really want to see how their veg gardens are doing but the actual purpose of um, heading there is for a meeting and for a treatment in the spa which I'll chat through with you a little bit later on. I've also got a lady coming to the house this morning to do my nails. I'm getting a bio sculpture manicure which I've never had before and um, my nails are really really grown out. I love the colour that they are. I think it's called toffee um, but yeah chips on this hand <laughs> grown out everywhere else so that's super that that's happening at the house i'm gonna make myself a quick breakfast before that it's monday uh which is normally my pilates day but i actually before going to bed last night i turned my alarm off thinking that i probably wasn't going to get the best night's sleep with my sniffle boohoo and i'm really glad that i did i think i just need a little bit of extra rest today and also i don't know why but the dogs were just going absolutely crazy last night just barking and howling so didn't get the best night's sleep i've actually just filmed my outfit of the day <laughs> this is my little setup so i've popped my phone on a tripod i've just put it to a lower length to get that final clip it's a bit more flattering and i airplay onto my laptop I am doing these Instagram daily outfits in real time, so it's not it's not a case of a load of content pre-filmed, it's all shot in real time, which is probably a challenge that I might live to regret, but I just can't really plan ahead that much, so um, yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. A really lovely sleeveless roll neck, which is from Mango, and then I've got these gorgeous cord trousers, which are from Me and M. As you might be able to see from my fiddling though, they actually don't have have belt loops which is a tiny bit annoying because they are quite a bit too big for me and very much need a belt um, and it, they definitely look better with a belt. I've popped on the one that I kept from my Hermes order. Love the autumnal tone of them um, but yeah they are a tiny bit too big. Wasn't too sure on the footwear either. I've gone for my Vivaya boots. If I did need to be a bit smarter today I might have popped on those heeled Reese boots but comfort is more important for me today. Okay, and then to finish off the outfit, I've just popped on my gorgeously cosy cardigan, which, by the way, is in the sale right now. And then, my lovely little shearling Giacomo bag to finish the look. So this is the outfit of the day. I actually have to film a little bit of content now for Cult Beauty. I'm working with them on the launch of their Christmas advent calendar, which is surreal that we are talking about Christmas. I, I'm ready for it. So I need to film that before um, the lady gets here to do my nails in about 45 minutes. And I want to make a nice omelette before that too. So let's get cracking. Okay, I've just finished filming the content that I needed to film for Cult Beauty for their advent calendar. And I have to share it with you guys as well. This is not part of the project that I'm working on with them, but oh my goodness. So this is worth over a thousand pounds, retails for 225. I'm hoping that there will be some left by the time this video goes live. Um, sorry about all the clothes you can see on the bed. This is actually crazy how much stuff you get in here. I opened number 18 and there are one, two, three, four, five products inside day number 18, including something which I would literally pay full price for, which is the Benefit Brow Wax. There's a Byredo um, mascara, something from a brand called Doen. I don't think I've tried that before. This is, I think this 
an eyebrow pencil and I'm guessing this is a little mirror from Cult Beauty. Five things behind that day. Um, there's a mixture of full size and travel size. Day number 17 as well. I absolutely love the look of this and I cannot wait to use it. It is a bronze and highlighting little palette from a brand called Natasha Denona, which is so funny because we actually drove past a building that said Natasha Denona on it when we were in New York and I was like, that name sounds so familiar, but I couldn't place it and how stunning are these colours. I literally want to put them on my eyes and on my cheeks and on my face right now such a cute little palette they've also partnered with two charities mental health uk they're going to donate over sixty thousand pounds from the sales of this to that charity which is amazing um and also they are working with a charity that i can't remember the name of but they're going to be planting a tree for every calendar sold which is absolutely amazing wow full size cherry tint blush from huda beauty um i have to say I've seen quite a lot of like top 10 lists for advent calendars this year. Oh my gosh. This itself, I'm going to pop the price of this on the screen here. It is a Sunday Riley CC Me Serum. This is expensive to buy just by itself. And this is literally a full size product. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description box down below because this is just absolutely wild. So, so good. Anyway, um, I'm going to pop this away now. I need to get myself some food before Nail Lady arrives. So let's go and see what's in the fridge. has just left and I have got the gorgeous shade which is called sea foam from Biosculpture on my nails. This is my first time getting a Biosculpture manicure. Just realised I need to click the gate so that she can actually leave and not be sat on our driveway. Yeah, my first ever Biosculpture manicure and a little bit different in that it came in this little pot. I think I showed you um, a little clip of the pots and it's meant to be super long lasting, really good for the nails. They have these like vitamin base layers that they can put on as well, which are really fantastic for nails care so yeah really really pleased I also have like a deeper <laughs> shade on my feet as well which is very autumnal gonna have some lunch now Charlie bought me a little pot of yumminess from Quince and Clover I think it's one of their oh mouth watering they're like these hot stew dal type dishes so yummy. Oh, this one's actually got chunky meaty bits. So I'm going to wolf this down and then head over to Soho Farmhouse for my treatment. a Shane Cooper bespoke body treatment today. I don't know that much about it. I think it's all about targeting certain parts of the body and really toning and um, great if you maybe over exercise certain parts of your body for muscle rejuvenation. I'm going to find out all about it when I meet Shane but first of all I'm going to pop on my lovely squishy robe and then we'll head in for the treatment. Gosh, 
what a gorgeously autumnal background. I'm gonna keep my voice down, but there's no one around. This is my, can you even see it? <laughs> Favorite little area at Soho Farmhouse. There's never anyone here. It's in the middle of the vegetable garden. The glass house event space is just there. But I feel like people just don't explore. Like the main barn area is super busy. Um, I've just been doing some work there and having a matcha latte for the last hour since my treatment which was so lovely. So Shane is actually based in South Kensington, but he's gonna be doing a few um, days each month here at the farmhouse and he really specializes in non-surgical treatments he does microneedling he does a few different facial treatments but he really specializes in getting the body in its absolute best form so he said that he has all kinds of clients from a-listers to sports people to literally everybody um, and he can completely make the treatment bespoke to you so mine was actually focused on Basically, I was invited for a press treatment. I didn't really hugely know what to expect, um, and you could choose an area of the body that you're most looking to improve. So I chose thighs, and I just said to him, I feel like I work out really, really hard, and I never see that much difference in that area. So the treatment that he did used intense microcurrent um, technology, I think, hopefully I've got that right. Basically a very snazzy machine that had, it felt like little pinching sensations it wasn't painful um, and it's meant to really activate and tighten the muscles and get them to get into tip-top shape I think you're recommended to do around six sessions so definitely gonna see Shane again but um, he was such a lovely guy we had so many great conversations about moving to the Cotswolds which is something that he's considering doing with his husband in the next few years so we had great chats about that then I very stupidly left my watch in the changing room. As you can see, I've got it back, so moral of the story is it's all okay. Um, but I had been working outside for over an hour in the courtyard before I realized, and this watch is very, very special to me. So my, and my heart just went, you know, when you realize you've really made a huge mistake. Um, and I panicked, I literally, I didn't even pay my bill. I just ran back to the spa, left my stuff on the table. And I was like, I left my watch in the changing room. Did anyone find it? Luckily, one of the receptionists, she had found it and had taken it to the safe at the main reception. So I ran to the main reception and um, they were so good security wise. They were like, can you explain what the watch looks like? Do you have any photos of you wearing it? Can you prove that this is yours? So they took it so seriously and then they even went back to the spa to confirm that I had been there, that I'd been in that particular changing room. I am so grateful. I don't know if a member of the spa team found it or if it was actually another um, member here but I'm so so grateful that I got it back and I need to be so much more careful one idiot that I am um, but yeah I just want to kind of stay and do a little bit more work in this area now that I've come for my walk down the kitchen garden I'd love to build something like this at home it's just a wooden structure corrugated iron roof I don't know if you can see but they've got hops all attached um, up on the ceiling. This really lovely open fire pit, outdoor furniture, because it doesn't get wet under here, so we've got fabric on the armchairs. George Smith sofa over there that I recognize. It's just so lovely. It's by far my favorite spot um, in the farmhouse. There's honestly never anyone here. As you can see, there's a couple of pizza ovens behind there, so I wonder if they're gonna start doing pizza nights or something. I don't know but I love it. So I'm gonna get on with a little bit more work um, and I'll catch up with you when we get home. This is honestly my favorite time of year in our beautiful area. I think that the light and the things that are growing, look at the apples in the trees, the sunflowers, just so gorgeous. And this walled garden is such a lovely place to come and relax at the end of the day. These are the little piglets.
my darlings. It's now Tuesday morning. Really had to drag myself out of bed this morning because it was so miserable. It was cold, it was rainy, it was gray, it was dark, um, but the universe aligned and I managed to get a slot on Chloe's Reformer Pilates, which is my favorite, so I thought, okay, so I thought, right, that is my excuse to get up, get out and get moving. And I'm so glad I did. I feel so good for just moving my body a little bit this morning. I then ended up going all out and doing a cold plunge. Um, I did 30 lengths in the swimming pool. And then I ended up doing not one, not two, but three. Sorry, this is quite a peculiar spot. Yes, three cold plunges in the ice bath um, with saunas, two saunas sandwiched in the middle, which is meant to be the best thing for you to do. Cold plunge, so good for muscle recovery, meant to be really good for boosting your metabolism, apparently. Um, I just feel like, I think it's if you get your vagus nerve um, submerged in the cold water, then it's got so many immunity boosting effects as well because it really shakes up your nervous system so i thought seeing as i have got a little bit of a sniffle and i want to just wash the um cold lurgy away um i thought i would give that a go and then went into the farm shop picked up a few lovely bits of clothing from bamford and now i'm heading home again i need to actually rush home now oh and i also had a really glorious um oh thank you avocado on toast thank you and matcha at the club so it's been a really nice start to the day it just proves that you get up you get out and you get moving and you can turn your day around because when we opened the shutters this morning honestly i thought today was going to be a complete wipeout and not a good day because of how gloomy it was um but yeah there we go so i will catch up with you darling so when we get home i think i'm going to make my roasted tomato soup for lunch i always used to follow madeline shaw's recipe for her tomato soup which is absolutely sensational but whatever veg i have in the fridge within reason i just roast it and add that into the soup as well and it's fantastic if you do have a little bit of a cold or if you just want to feel really warm and snuggly it is the ultimate autumn comfort homemade dish so that's the plan my darlings um and also i do want to do a little bit more blackberry picking but we shall see if i've got time for that so there we go i will see you at home home again now. I must have just sneezed 17 times in a row. <laughs> I feel like as much as I do to battle off this cold, it is coming through thick and fast, but I feel fine. I'm just sneezy, so I apologize for the sniffly voice. To make myself feel a little bit more energetic this afternoon, I'm gonna make myself a really lovely, cozy, warming coffee. And it's actually so simple to make a freshly ground nutmeg and cinnamon latte so i'm going to show you how i do it all you'll need is your usual coffee making apparatus now if you and also some cinnamon and nutmeg <laughs> what a surprise um if you use nespresso pods then i would probably just put a little bit of cinnamon in the bottom of your cup before you start pressing the buttons but if you have got a freshly ground bean to cup coffee machine like ours then this is how i do it so ooh, you are on the coffee machine as we speak this is my little pot um that we pot it's probably got a professional name i'm sure charlie would know that we grind the beans into. I'm gonna grind it halfway to the top and then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. 
So we've got a half filled um, thingy majig of my usual coffee beans. I've got some lovely organic cinnamon powder here. So I'm going to add a small teaspoon into my coffee grounds. Meanwhile, I'm gonna add my favorite milk, which is of course my Oatly Barista into my little smeg frother. I try to now treat this as a treat. I know that it's not the best thing for me, um, but I just can't live without it as I've said a million times. So this is my little afternoon treat. So I'm gonna pop this in the frother. And now, of course, filling this to the top with the regular coffee grounds. And making my coffee like normal. Okay, so we essentially have a double espresso in here with a little hint of cinnamon. Next, I've got some nutmegs and I am going to very carefully, oh, forgot about milk, add in my oat milk first, which has now frothed up. Yum, 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 oh my goodness. If you want it to be even more cinnamony, you could definitely add a little bit more cinnamon um, in. You could just stir in a little bit more if your heart so desires. So, I'm now just going to grate some fresh nutmeg on top. Nutmeg is such a warming autumnal flavor in my opinion. And there we have it, 10 times more tasty than Starbucks. We have got our homemade cinnamon and nutmeg latte without any syrups, without anything nasty in there. I'm gonna give it a little stir so that the nutmeg actually goes all the way through it, but oh my goodness, this is gonna be the perfect autumnal afternoon pick-me-up. Well, it is safe to say this is going down an absolute treat. Yes, I have changed into a different dress because this literally just arrived this second from Aspiga and I could not wait to try it on. I'm always on the lookout for slightly different, we all know that in summer I just live in dresses because to me, it's just such a, a simple outfit option. You really don't need to plan anything. You pop your dress on and that is your outfit complete. I find it a little bit harder in autumn and winter, so when I see something that could be a real go-to daily dress, then I love to snap them up. So this has just arrived from Aspiga. I'm also loving corduroy this year, and I'm trying to ensure that not all of my outfits are just brown. <laughs> I do love brown more than, more than most, um, but Yes, burgundy, red wine, that is the colour, black very you could even say, of this dress. It has got a really beautiful kind of fluted, I don't know if you can see, fluted little cuff on the sleeve, which is just absolutely gorgeous, and it's a really elegant length. I've actually just styled it with my, I don't know if you'll be able to see, don't know if you'll be able to see, sorry about all the mess, um, I just styled it with my Jean Vito Rossi boots and they are a really lovely warm brown colour. So, ooh. <laughs> so I thought they would go together perfectly. But yes, if you are looking for something a little bit smarter, um, a lovely dress for autumn winter, then this one is absolutely gorgeous. I've also just had a net -a porter delivery, which I've been waiting for for a week. I need to get better at um, looking to see when items get shipped from Italy because when they do it just means that the order takes so much longer to come and I think one item came from Italy which delayed the whole order which is not the end of the world but I would have liked to have already got somewhere out of these pieces anyway enough chatting about the order let's go and unbox it there are some very exciting footwear pieces in it um, and a load of skims. My first ever skims haul. Um, it was actually Molly May <laughs> that inspired this. She did a video in collaboration with skims and I just thought all the pieces looked so lovely and so wearable and I haven't invested in undergarments <laughs> in quite a while and I feel like autumn winter is definitely the time to do that. And then if it's successful I think I'm gonna have an almighty clear out of some of the older undergarments in my collection but yeah a speaker dress absolutely love it gorgeous color fabulous thickness um i could probably wear it with a little belt as well in fact i think i might actually try that the sunshine has returned hallelujah okay i have popped it on now with a long line cardigan i actually have a really lovely cashmere wool cardigan from nesta porter from last year um that i would love to try this on with 
this dress however it's sold out so a little bit frustrating so i've grabbed this lovely mango one which is in the kind of biscuity color but even without the cardigan which obviously i just love to add a cardigan for cozy vibes long line cardigan are long line cardigans are an essential in my wardrobe but yes i've added the loewe belts and I think it really looks lovely with this dress. So yeah, this is how I'll be styling it. I've got a day of meetings in London on Thursday. So I think this is a strong option for that day. Oh, it's sunny. I want to go out and garden. thing about this time of year is because I know the daylight hours are so limited, or they're getting more limited, I get real kind of FOMO because when it's sunny I want to be filming, I want to be outside gardening, I want to be vlogging, I want to be doing my 30 autumn outfit Instagram daily outfit things. There's just so much to do when the sun shines and there's so little, so few moments. I want to be walking the dogs, I want to be picking pumpkins, I want to be doing everything. Yeah, let's go and look in this metaphor to order. Okay my darlings, let's get stuck into this. Um, hopefully, woo, Hopefully you can hear me and see me okay over there. Okay, this first piece I had actually forgotten that I'd added to the order. Now it is a very premium price tag, but I have quite literally just been disclosing my love of long line cardigans with you. Um, this one is super chunky. This is the most, wow, I mean, I think actually it's <laughs> too big for me. This is the chunkiest of all of the knitted cardigans that I have come across. Um, annoyingly, it's got this weird shape. Can you see on the sleeves? It's got like a bulbous item there. And I do remember this is very, very expensive. Um, and to be honest, I actually prefer my Karen Millen one. It's got a nicer hang to it. So that's quite an e easy decision. Not, not the best start, um, but looking at all of the goodies so beautifully jigsawed into that box now. I feel like we're off to a bad start, but things are going to get better. Let's bring you back. Ooh. Can you see how beautifully everything is laid out in the box? Okay, we've got a little bag here from Gucci, and I think I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I was in the market for something very practical that will just go over the top of coats, over the top of dresses, a really versatile bag for autumn, winter, and I think this might just be the one. So this is one of those styles. I think Gucci bring this out um, every year, to be honest. It's quite a large bag, so you can definitely wear it on the shoulder, like so. It's gonna fit a lot of things in it, which I really, really like about it. It's got a couple of different sections, as you can see there. Um, a little zippy pocket, big enough section here in the middle for my vlogging camera. You can probably slip your phone in that middle section. And then you just tuck that little padded bit into there. So classic. And I love the colours of this. I feel like the colours will go with so many of the tones in my autumn wardrobe, which are, of course, very neutral. Um, lots of browns, a few more burgundies sneaking in there. Creams as well. This will look really lovely with creams. And I feel like this... It feels like quite a mature style, but it definitely feels like a timeless bag. Um, I think you can stretch out the strap to make it crossbody. Okay, so I've managed to make it a little bit longer and then maybe if I just completely undo it. I think if I was wearing this over a coat, I would probably wear it crossbody and I do love to be hands-free, but in a way, I feel like it's almost too big to be worn crossbody. Very practical if you're commuting, for example, but I really love the fact that you can shorten or lengthen the straps to your heart's desire very easily i have to say yeah i think i'm leaning more towards the shorter length but i think it's absolutely gorgeous i think it's a really lovely addition to my autumn wardrobe so please darlings let me know what you think so i think the skims bits um some of them are in like cardboard pouches and some of them are just in tissue paper so these are the seamless sculpt mid waist and thigh shorts and these um i've mentioned this kind of underwear before on this channel they're fantastic 
for tucking knitwear in if you want to create a really ooh, really seamless finish on your dresses then i mean they're the least sexy things in the entire world they literally have like little baboon bottoms here they look so funny but they really do just suck everything in they give you really really beautiful silhouettes and as i mentioned fantastic for tucking in thermal tops and jumpers when you are wearing skirts so i'm gonna put all the skims like in a pile and um, I'll show you how they look with some outfits in a moment. So more from the skims, literally just like a cute little soft pair of knickers, lovely. Is that a thong? Oh my gosh, they're tiny. Honestly, is this, this is Kim Kardashian's brand, isn't it? Or have I made that up? I'm pretty sure it's Kim K's brand. Let me tell you, she's making a fortune. I'm pretty sure these were like, I don't know how much they were, but that is the lightest fabric. It'll, it won't be costing her much to make these, let's just say that. Profit margin o rama um, And then another little kind of baboon bottom shorts, but these go really high-waisted, so they're gonna be ultra sculpting and ultra flattering. Okay, this is, <laughs> they're just so funny looking. It literally looks like I've got a baby that I'm buying shapewear for. Like, how is that gonna fit me? Um, but I'll be popping photos of these items on the model on the screen because this is not representing. <laughs> I'm so intrigued to try these. And then this one is considerably softer. This is one of those kind of bodies. I think this is one of the things that Molly May had. And she wore a top like this just with jeans. And I think it could be a really nice thermal layer for the time, when the time comes that we do want to have extra layers when we're putting together outfits. Right, shall we take a break from the skims and open something else very exciting? I have decided that I would like to treat myself to a few new pair of Gucci mules because the ones that I've currently got in my collection, they're not the most easy to wear. I've got a leopard print pair and a pink floral pair and they just don't go with that many of my outfits. So, I decided to treat myself to a pair that will match my handbag and I think that this being such a classic Gucci monogram could be very, very timeless. Yes, it's quite in your face, um, but I think if you pair this with a very plain and simple rest of your outfit, these could look really lovely. So I'm excited to try these with maybe some white denim, um, with some of my wide leg trousers, my cord trousers. As always, if you have any ideas on styling these pieces, please let me know, but they are such beautiful quality. I've got my normal size. Um, and I think the colours of them being so neutral, I think that they will be very wearable. And this horse bit, I've got this in um, a belt, obviously the bag that I just showed you, so... Oh, in fact, here is the belt in question. I actually pray every day, not all day every day, but every day, that Gucci will bring this back because... Um, not for me, but for you, because it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous belt. It's been one of the best designer purchases I think I've ever made. I will try and find similar and leave it linked down below. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's so classic, goes with so many things. I'm pretty sure I could wear these shoes even with a dress like this. So yeah, excited to style these. More skims, more skims. <laughs> More skims, oh my goodness. I'm obviously not gonna keep everything, but this is my first time really discovering the skims, so I'm gonna just try everything out and see what worked best for me. I'll show you the other pair of Gucci mules that I chose. Obviously you won't be keeping both pairs, so your thoughts on versatility would be much appreciated. I think a lot of you might prefer these actually and tell me that these are a lot more versatile. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is rather beautiful. Look at that. So this is a plain suede. You don't have the um, the logo all over them. It's quite a warm toned suede. Do they go with the bag? Obviously, um, the look before was completely matching with this little Gucci trio. Do you know, it's funny, if someone said to me, what are your favorite brands? I would never naturally just say Gucci, but when I think about things in my wardrobe that I really love and get a lot of wear out of, Gucci has always been good to me, really good investment pieces. With anything suede, obviously 
we come to the time of year where I am harping on about liquid proof. I'll leave this link down below. You have to spray anything new from your wardrobe um, that's suede, whether it's a bag or boots or meals or a coat, because then if you spill any liquid, coffee, red wine, it literally just rolls off and doesn't ruin your items. So best friends right here. Next up, we have got, I believe this is going to be more footwear um, from Jean Vito Rossi. The boots that I'm wearing now are actually Jean Vito Rossi. Can't quite remember what is in here. Ooh, oh my gosh, I was obviously feeling very cool and edgy when I placed this order, because these are not particularly me, I have to say, um, but I am trying to invest in more practical things, and these are very practical indeed. Look at that sole, super grip orama, and then like a classic, would you call that a Chelsea boot, I think? Yeah, can actually imagine getting a lot of wear out of a pair of boots like this, especially given where we live, trudging through, even getting from the car to the, um, Cowshed Spa yesterday at Soho Farmhouse. It's not the easiest terrain. It's like mud paths, gravel, over grass and things like that. So practical footwear is a necessity. So mm, I need to just like plan a few outfits around practical footwear like this. And then finally, we have got a box here from Todd's. And I'm pretty sure this is another pair of meals. Ooh, actually more of like a driving shoe style. And funnily, these are almost more of like a raspberry color as opposed to a brown. I'm not sure that I realized that they were this color on the website, or maybe it's just like the aura of a dress is coming across on the shoes. I love them. They're, I think they're called the driving shoes. Very, very practical. Again, fully suede, so best friends part two. I just don't know if I would ever reach for these over the mules. So, hmm, I think if there's any that are definitely going back, it's probably these. But there we go. I was so excited to open this order because I think there's some really lovely pieces here. Excited to try the skins. The other bits are a little bit deeper in colour. So, um, I thought that the top, the vest top, in this deep colour with a pair of jeans could look really cool. Like, even if I literally want to take off my jumper, so the top... If I was treating this as a thermal, then it could be quite a nice style. And then also in the deeper brown shade, I got their little bra, which is so soft. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I have already got a bra in this style from Skims. So maybe these aren't my first ever Skims pieces. A few sets in a slightly lighter tone, crisscross bra again. Um, this is, ooh, a bandeau top. This is one of those things that I might have got a bit carried away because I never really have the need for a bandeau top, so I'm not sure that I need that one. I just was trying to get one of everything. This is a really good layering piece. It's kind of like a square neck. Hopefully a nice warm thermal piece, but again, a fantastic layering bit. Pop on with jeans. Kind of peculiar that it's a thong because obviously you're still gonna wear your normal underwear with this, but then this is gonna be up your bottom or do you not do you not wear underwear i would find that a bit peculiar and then this is that vest top style again in this kind of mocha color so wow <laughs> huge 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 skims order excited to give it a try um which i will do a little bit later i need to do a bit of email admin boring um and then i'll try some of these bits on Okay, my darlings, first of all, I apologize for any mess that you might be able to see in any reflections. Um, there's just kind of stuff scattered around from that unboxing, but I have just popped on the Gucci mules, um, the patterned ones. I did have to roll up the bottom of my jeans because I am a shorty, and I think they look a little bit better when you can see a little bit of foot. Obviously, there's not gonna be that much, um, well, probably like a month or so, left of the temperatures that I will be happy to have my foot out like this but as I mentioned I think these are so lovely and timeless. I've popped on this H&M um, high roll neck knit which I really love but excitingly underneath it <laughs> is one of the skims pieces. Looks like I'm literally about to flash you but 
here we go oh my gosh is this a little bit rude to be showing you i don't know i really like oh wow it's a little bit booby isn't it really like the color of this it is probably the closest to my skin tone i can't remember the name of this color um but if i can find it on my orders i'll pop all the info on the screen here so that you can see but yeah i think this will just be a really nice quite comforting base layer and also i find that if you wear things like this underneath your knitwear it just means that you don't need to wash your knitwear quite as often i like the square neckline on it to be honest if i did get absolutely roasting then i could just wear this i know so many people do i might be a little bit self-conscious of the nipple situation though um and yeah really like how it works as a base layer underneath a pair of jeans they do thankfully have little poppers so you don't have to completely strip off when you need to go to the loo or if you want to change into a different vest top not that you would ever need to do that in a real day um but for the sake of this try on makes it a lot easier for me because i don't have to keep taking my jeans on and off again okay my darlings i'm into my another style of um the skims under garments and this is the same color but a different a different neckline and i love this one and if i could be sure that i wasn't going to be nipple nippling everybody then i would 100 percent just wear it like this i think there's something really nice especially at this time of year just that feeling of fabric on the body it feels just like feels like i'm being hugged and i absolutely love it i do feel quite i feel quite um like those instagram cool girls which is not what i'm aiming for but it is what it is so for um for layering underneath knitwear this is another really beautiful new new piece this was so very kindly sent over by the team at me and m and they've just got the most gorgeous collection at the moment they really have um i posted a daily outfit video recently on instagram this was the look and that floral dress well you'll have seen me wearing it in the vlog before last um or maybe even the last one i lose track wowza this is soft i love the colors in this um but yeah that floral dress is also me and emma it's been such a such a gorgeous piece just a really nice outfit for this time of year oh this is lovely this is such a nice knit there is something quite granddaddy <laughs> about it which i really really like i've got on these um white trousers white jeans which are from beaufort and blake could i wear the gucci I think again i'd probably be tempted to actually roll these up i don't know how people like of my height wear <laughs> trousers <laughs> i don't know i just always find it a bit of a struggle maybe maybe rolling jeans up is like a summer thing to do i don't know yeah i quite like how they look when they're rolled up but very conscious of chilly ankles and i know i'm not going to be able to do this much longer what about those jambito rossi boots let's try that wasn't intending on this actually being like a big fashion <laughs> fashion vlog because I know I've shown you so much stuff lately and um, I don't want to be too ridiculous. This room is going to need so much tidying. Can you see all the mess in the mirrors behind me? The mirrors always give away my secrets. Oh, holy moly. Oh my gosh, I look like I'm walking around in East London. <laughs> if you know, you know really do not want to chip my brand new nails i wonder if maybe these are just too much of a contrast it's quite like light and then dark <laughs> on someone else this might look quite cool but i feel like i look like a cow with little brown hooves i don't know it's just not it's not doing me personally any favors yeah too much contrast going on here oh my gosh these are never gonna come off oh i'm out of breath just thinking about it <laughs> Oh, might look a little bit like I'm off to do some very stylish horse riding. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I do quite like that. I like that more than the previous the previous option. Let's add in a little belt. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are the boots a little bit too heavy? I really like this section. I like the jeans. I like the fit of them. Love the knit. The knit is absolute perfection. Um, really like the belts. I just don't know if it's a little bit too much with the boots as well. Let's try some different footwear options. 
world's quickest whiz through of a few of the others. So this is, I think they call this the bronze colour, and this is a really simple vest top. Um, again, it's like a clip down at the, <laughs> the crotch area. It's got this lovely lace detailing um, along the top here. And again, it's like a thong. So if you are wanting the cozy bodysuit feeling, but definitely something cute enough that if you take off your jumper um, or your sweater, then it's gonna look nice, then I think this is probably my favorite for that. I think this warm, it's like a cinnamon color and it is absolutely lovely. I did just wear this down to the office and Charlie asked if I was wearing a swimsuit so that is the boy opinion on the Skims bodysuits. This one is more of a grey colour. I mean it does look like the kind of speedos that you used to wear in school swimming lessons with this style of top but again love how cosy it feels and I think these are going to be really nice base layers even if I'm wanting to wear like sleeveless knits and sometimes you know they're quite low remember that in fact i'll go and get it this is a lovely little vest top um that i got from and other stories and previously when i wore it i was so self-conscious because it's just this tie um tie detail here and i was like oh my gosh how am i supposed to wear it because everyone's just going to see my side boob or see a really ugly bra strap but this is obviously how you do it just pop a cute little bodysuit on underneath i like that this is a really nice outfit for this time of year actually because um as i said this house can be quite warm so you want to be free in the arm department and yet get the cozy vibes of a knitted top so yeah i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these little bodies if you guys have them um if I know I'm really late to the party. Please let me know the kind of occasions that you wear them. Or do you just wear them all the time? I feel like now we're getting into autumn winter, I will probably always <laughs> have this as an underlayer to my outfits. I think this chocolate brown might be my favorite um, color of all of them, the deepest toned one. At this rate, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear a bra ever again <laughs> because these are just so comfortable, enough support for me as a small boobed person. And I just love how they feel. So that is my autumn face layers sorted. Yay. I wouldn't normally show you this, but it's just too funny not to. This is the current state of the dressing room. Wow, I cannot wait to tidy this up, but for the moment it's stressing me out too much and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go down and make my yummy tomato soup. Let's leave this and deal with it later. Okay, my darlings, down in the kitchen, and I have armed myself with these two books, which if you have watched this channel for a very long time, you might be familiar with. If you've watched this channel for maybe like seven or eight years, you might actually even remember my first ever collab video was with Madeline Shaw and we went over to her lovely apartment in Battersea and I don't think I'd ever even heard of crudités. I think she mentioned crudités and I was like, what are you, what is this word you're using? I, I'd never heard of them. How times have changed. You can see from the amount of bookmarks that I'm a big fan of these books, but the recipe that I'm actually looking for is, she calls it her life-changing tomato soup and it really is delicious. I've actually got no idea if I have all the ingredients that I need for this recipe, but we'll soon find out. Okay, I don't know if I'm going mad or if I've just not found the right recipe book because I can't find the recipe in these books. Um, but I've gone on Google, good old Google, and I found another of her recipes and I think I can remember what I did. So luckily I've got loads of tomatoes from the garden, some big ones, lots of little ones. I am gonna go outside now and get some more. I've also got some little chilies, so I'm gonna pop these in as well. I'm also thinking gonna be good, this is gonna be good for my cold because this recipe also calls for an entire bulb of garlic. I've got like the smallest smattering of potatoes <laughs> left from our roast at the weekend. Great thing about, oh. That is my alarm that tells me that video needs to go live, but um, I'm a bit late this evening and it hasn't finished uploading, so it's gonna be a bit late. Yeah, the great thing about soups is you can really just shove anything in, so I'm gonna pop a few of these in as well. But before we start chopping and veg prepping, I do need an onion, which is one thing that I don't have in the fridge, but I know that I've got some in the garden, so let's go and see. We'll take our roasting tray to fill it up with goodies. Let's go and see what we can get from the garden to put in our lovely, tomato, tomato-ish soup. Tomato and lots of other yummy things. So in here there's a few goodies. I've got these little tiny chili peppers. 
um, which I think will make it really nice and warm in the soup. So these will be a lovely addition. Another chili pepper over here. We've got a few ripe tomatoes. I feel like tomato season is so brief. Or maybe I just feel like that because we had such a rubbish summer this year. But I love coming into the greenhouse and just collecting bits to make into something yummy. As you can see, my tomatoes have completely fallen over down here. This one is not quite ripe, um, but it's probably not going to get any riper, so stick it in for good measure. It's still going to be tasty. Here's another one. Let's see what's doing. Let's see what we can find outside. Some onion. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, I've got half of the half of the soil coming in with me as well. So big it almost looks like a leek. Well, at this stage, I'm just grabbing everything now, including Cavolo Nero. I've just grabbed one of my eight ball courgettes. So this is no longer a tomato soup, but very much an autumn kitchen garden soup. Now that is not a bad little haul for the end of summer. This is gonna be so tasty with all of these little golden cherry tomatoes. Okay, my darlings, I have got, oops, nearly dropped them, my freshly washed veg here from the kitchen garden. So we've got some spring onions, we've got a little bit of Cavolo Nero, we've got a, an eight ball courgette, loads of tomatoes, some chili peppers, we've got some, actually I think that's everything. <laughs> yeah, that's all the different variety we've got from the kitchen garden. A mixture of St. Pierre tomatoes and the little cherry tomatoes. Ooh, it's gonna have a little kick to it with all of these wonderful peppers and chilies in there. So basically all we do is roast the majority of these ingredients and then wouse them all together. I will also be adding a tablespoon of tamari. This is gonna give it the most gorgeous umami taste as well as sea salt and some olive oil on top of everything. I've got some fresh thyme from the garden. I'm gonna take the leaves off this. Dried would be absolutely fine as well. This baking tray is probably not gonna be big enough, but let's just get started and see how we get on. So for the tomatoes, I'm just gonna kind of chunk them and get rid of obviously the green bits, chop up the onions, uh, slice the chilies, half the garlic, drizzle with olive oil, season with salt, and then roast for around 40 minutes. Doesn't that just look absolutely amazing? This is the second tray of veggies, which have got thyme, salt, and olive oil on top. And this is gonna go in the agar for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer for 30. We've already got one tray, the tray that I did first, roasting away. I'm gonna give that a little shake up, add the second tray in, and then we are well on our way. You might have noticed this first tray had the potatoes in it. Ooh, sizzling away and smelling wonderful. Okay, second tray going in. We'll set off Alexa and we'll get the next part of the soup ready to go. I'm having to battle with Charlie now for kitchen space. He's gonna be doing us a nice gnocchi dish for dinner, but these have been in for like 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna give them all a little shake up. So we've just had a delicious gnocchi veg dinner and my veg is now out of the agar. It was probably in there for just under an hour. As you can see, it's gone nice and crispy. I'm gonna add this, some veggie stock and a tablespoon of tamari into the blender. Then blend it up, do the all important taste test and adjust the seasoning. 
obviously I'm not going to be having this as my dessert after our gnocchi, so I'll have this for my lunch tomorrow. So in the daylight I will show you a little clip on the screen here how it looks. I like to garnish with some seeds, a little drizzle of cream, and hopefully it'll... Oh yeah, you could do natural yoghurt. Some nice freshly toasted bread, some sourdough, should be absolutely delicious. Obviously, don't forget to squeeze the garlic out of its skin. Whoa, that has got a kick to it. Yeah. Woo! Spicy! Okay, soup is blended and in the fridge and <laughs> we're now having some pudding. Charlie is having um, strawberry and rhubarb yogurt with foraged blackberries and he's just getting some raspberries from the garden. I've had half of my cinnamon swirl from Dalesford. I've just double cleansed, <laughs> double cleaned the kitchen worktops. Just like my face, I do like to double, cle <laughs> double cleanse the worktops as well. I feel like the first clean is always getting rid of all the crap and the bits of food, and then the second clean actually cleans the worktops. Very similar to my face. Um, and on that note, I will leave you with Dickens' ultra fluffy cuteness, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye.